NetSSH is a common based utility in Windows operating systems that allows to manipulate network configuration in a device. This utility may be used for both wired as well as wireless networks. In this video, we are going to explore few of the basic features of NetSSH command. This utility could be used in many other advanced network configurations. However, we are not including the advanced commands of the utility in this video. NetSSH command can be used to see the interfaces existing in the device. For that, we will type this command NetSSH interface IPv4 show interface. Press enter, it will show all the interfaces which are installed in the system. Here we can see we have one Ethernet LAN adapter connected. Then loop back, which is not actually the physical connection, it's a logical connection for network administration, used for network administration. Then we have one Wi Fi connection, which is right now disconnected. So all the network devices or interfaces which are connected is shown on the screen and that is done using NetSH interface show command. The configuration of the network cards can be shown or displayed using the same command NetSH. For that, we will write NetSH interface with IPv4 show, then we will write this command as config. This time we will show, uh, this command will display all the configuration of different interface. Press enter, it will show the configuration. If I go up, here this is Bluetooth, this is VPN, virtual network and uh, we will see the ethernet or local area interface which is configured here this is ether and this is ethernet this card the configuration of the card ip address subnet mask gateway everything is displayed over here similarly we have the wireless card configured this is the wireless card the specification and the configuration information is given here the ip address then subnet mask everything is displayed and this is the loopback this is 127.0.0.1 it is the loopback address assigned to the system the next command we wanted to see is the ip address only the ip address instead of the entire configuration for that what we will write we'll write show instead of config we'll write so we'll write address show address press enter it will show the addresses ip addresses of all the in various interfaces here it is the ethernet card whose address is displayed over here other information like default gateway and uh, the metric the interface metric gateway metric all information these are some system network administrative information which is displayed on the screen similarly if you are interested not in all the interface information if we wanted to have only the information about the uh, about the specific card like say name equals to we wanted to display only the information about the ethernet if i type name equal to ethernet it will display the information let's me let me clear the screen and see properly so this time address of only the ethernet card will be displayed here only ethernet is displayed this is the ip address subnet mask default gateway all the information are shown similarly this command can be used so to see some global information about the network settings if i write interface ipv4 show 
global press enter then it shows some global information this global information a bit more technical uh, for example here this is the hop limit 128 this hop limit is used for routing packets or how long a packet will sustain in the network it is 128 hops total 120 after 128 hops the packet if it is not delivered it will be dropped this hop count or total number of hops they came from source to destination we can get it using trace root command you can explore the trace root command to see the hop counts and use of hop counts some other information are also displayed another important is minimum mtu mtu is maximum transmission unit the size of the segment or size of the packet or more importantly we can say it is a, a, seg a unit that has been accepted by the network is 576 bytes and this is the minimum uh, amount of bytes to be used while transferring a data packet using the net sh command we can either enable or disable the network interface here we can see that our local area network is connected and we can access the internet here internet access is showing if i want to disable the network interface using some netsh command some form of netsh command then we can write down as netsh int int for initialization set initialization parameter as disabled or enabled here first time i will disable it disable disabled press enter then we can see the network is now the wired network is disabled if i wanted to get it back then i have to write admin equals to enable enabled press enter then here it is the network now this network is up so this net sh command can be used for enabling and disabling any network connection of the device we can see all the tcp connections or all the tcp ports in the system which are either listening or connecting using the net sh command as net sh interface ipv4 show and tcp connections if i press enter it will show all the tcp connections mainly the ports on which a tcp connection is listening or waiting or it is established these established connections are the connections where some network connections are already established or data communication is going on and where listening or listen those ports those tcp ports are ready to accept request from others or get data from other nodes in the network firewall in the windows can also be enabled or disabled using the net sh command to see the use of net sh command to enable and disable the firewall let us first check the status of the firewall from the windows environment or gui environment for that i will press the windows button then c then in the search box i will write down fire uh, firewall then go to the firewall settings and turn on and off firewall here it this fire where firewall private settings of the firewall is on now let's check once by applying the net sh command to disable the firewall for that we will write the net sh with advanced firewall settings of the current profile state equal to off press enter it is okay it is done let me check again box firewall then we'll go to the firewall 
and turn on and off this private one it is now off this is off then we will switch it on back on then we go to the settings and this is not changed let me check it once again alt windows c go to firewall and turn on and off here it is turned on so this time we turned on the firewall now it is showing firewall is turned on to get the form of the firewall in its original form we will write net sh firewall advanced firewall reset press enter so it will go back to the, the original form where it was uh, when these windows were was uh, starting the net research command can also be used to configure or manipulate the configuration of wireless local area network for that we will use the net sh command as net sh w then show profile it will show all the hotspots that this device is connected so far lot of devices are showing here these are various hotspots that this device was connected now out of this hotspots that this device was connected if i wanted to see the information about any of the hotspot given here then i can rewrite this command as giving the name is equals to let us say i wanted to see the information about this particular hotspot zionet i will copy this part press enter then right click and paste here press enter then it will give the information about the hotspot to whom i was connected or my device was connected so many important information are given here authentication open i hope this did not have a uh, security code i think security code was absent but still if i wanted to see the password of this hotspot if i write key equals to clear press enter it will show the password but the password i think password this device or this hotspot did not have a password to connect uh, let me check other one more hotspot for the password let's say get connected get connected and get connected 5g i suppose the this uh, this hotspot has some password let me copy this press enter then i will rewrite this as the name of this hotspot paste delete this white space then i will write key equals to clear press enter then i think yes the key was superman exclamatory sign one two three this was the password for that particular hotspot so we can reveal any password but provided this password is saved in the device otherwise we cannot find the password there is one more form of the net sh command using net sh lan command but however to run this command we must have to enable one service which is called wired automation service to enable that service we will go to the windows command or windows r then i will write services.msc and then press ok 
we will get a set of services running in the background and then we will go for we'll find the wired auto configuration it starts with w wired wired auto config if this is not running if it does not run then it will not this and net sh len command will not work i will start it then these commands will work let me check whether it works while it is stopped let me stop this service then run this command len net sh len show profile press enter so this wired auto config service is not running so let me run that service wired auto config if i start this and let me go back and run the command once again net sh len show profile press enter yes it will so it will show all the uh, different uh, i mean network cards configuration will be shown here all the profiles will be shown here ethernet profile vpn profile then other information are also shown so this is the net sh command which can be used in many different ways in fact it can be used for assigning ip addresses gateways many more operation could be done using net sh this video was the introduction to this powerful command and hope to see other variations of the command in our later videos.